The Melkus RS1000 isn't a car for everyday driving. Its suspension is very hard, and there's little noise damping. Still, this vehicle is something special. It was the only series production sports car ever made in communist East Germany. Volkmar Krusbik owns the last one ever made. He says what makes the car fun to drive is that it's just over one meter tall. So you're literally sitting 10 centimeters over the road and have a very interesting perspective. And of course, there's the mid-engine with its rear transmission. He says weather and other conditions permitting, the car drifts nicely. 101 Melkus RS were built between 1969 and 1984. Many Wartburg parts went into their construction. That's why the Melkus is often called a wolf in sheep's clothing, because it looks faster than it actually is. Depending on the engine, it can reach between 160 and 210 kilometers an hour. Volkmar explains that Heinz Melkus developed the car in 1969. It was East Germany's answer to Western race cars. The RS1000 had a fiberglass body with an aluminum skin. It used lots of standard parts from the Wartburg 353, like this turn signal. The car's chassis was based on that model, too. Krispik says here there's the steel frame with independent suspension. There are the disc brakes on the front axle. It's all mechanically operated. No brake booster, no power-assisted steering. The car's front brakes, wheel suspension, floor pan, and braking system are also taken from the Wartburg 353. The gold-wing doors give the Melkus an exotic look for a communist-era vehicle. Crispig points out the two separate gas tanks above the rocker panel, one on the left and one on the right, which holds 25 liters apiece. The steering, instruments, transmission and electronics are also borrowed from Wartburg. Kuspik shows us another special thing about the Melkus. The ride height of the seats can be adjusted. After lifting the seat to the desired position, a wooden board is laid under it. Here it's high, now it's low. It's practical and simple. Kuspik notes that the engine is located ahead of the rear axle and the transmission behind. This model from 1984 was fitted with a 102 horsepower engine with a curb weight of 680 kilos. That made for a sporty drive. But this car's engine isn't the original one. Instead of the standard Wartburg three-cylinder, this Melkus is powered by a four-cylinder BMW engine. Plenty of power combined with a light weight makes for great driving performance. But drivers should be careful not to push the Melkus past its limits. Crispy says the car's acceleration is a real treat, but he warns you need to keep your hands firmly on the steering wheel and always be ready to brake. Because, as he said before, the car has no brake boosters, and the engine is a bit too powerful for the series production Wartburg brakes. Regular maintenance is also very important. Krispik always gives his Milkus a thorough checkup before a long trip. The car has a powerful engine and runs in the high revs, so it's wise to check the oil before setting out. It's a relief if the car is not using too much oil, and Krispig knows all's well. To be on the safe side, Krispig adds a bit of coolant and wipes the radiator cap. Then he checks the oil, and finally, the trunk lid, which can spring open while the car is in motion. Okay. 
Crispy says that can happen if you don't monitor the tension of the Bowden cables. Then the trunk can fly open. It goes down again, but it's an unpleasant surprise. He ensures the cables are preloaded to avoid this. He also checks the insulation here, which sometimes comes loose, especially in hot weather. But it's in place, so everything's wonderful. Due to its stiff suspension, the Melkus oversteers when taking curves at high speed. So drivers need to be very reactive. Crispig likes the way the car holds the road. It's wonderful in dry weather, but when it's wet, you need to be careful as it tends to oversteer. Otherwise, the handling's very good. Personally, he thinks 150 kilometers an hour is fast enough, though you can go 180 or 190. But then he says you feel uplift at the front and would be well advised to take your foot off the gas. He thinks 130 to 150 kilometers an hour is plenty fast for a car that is essentially a Vartburg. There are some 80 Melkus RS1000s around, so grab one while you can. Those in good condition sell for around 60,000 euros in Germany.